Okay, so we'll move on to Saturn, Venus, maybe now. <laughs> uh, let's do Saturn, Mercury. Let's do it in order. Okay. Planet. okay, so Saturn, Mercury is a nicer conjunction. The reason is we won't get into it now, but Mercury helps Saturn. He's a friend to Saturn, so he'll help Saturn, but Saturn always hurts any planets with with. with. So Mercury still gets beat up, but at least in, a, in, in exchange, you get a better Saturn, okay? So if you get a Mercury, Saturn, Saturn dasha will do better than Mercury dasha, okay? Because Mercury's helping Saturn have a better dasha, why Saturn's reducing Mercury to have a good dasha, okay? So, um, Mercury has to do with, first, our communication. And where you see people with Saturn, Mercury, most unhappy is in their communication. They just don't feel connected when they communicate. No matter how much they talk, no matter how much they explain themselves, they never really feel understood. And they feel a real lack and starvation in respect to being communicating and understanding. And in general, they feel a lack of capacity to simply understand and grasp ideas and concept. They'll usually be really active on taking notes because they just don't feel like they can just soak it up and get it. So they'll be really avid note takers, take extensive notes, but lots of times miss the point of what they're trying to learn. It takes them longer to learn things. And it's not because they're not smart. It's simply they just don't feel like they're learning well. They just literally have a, a confidence issue in their ability to learn and pick up information. Um, and their minds lots of times will, will move slower, but that doesn't mean their minds don't move any less precisely. Um, if the things they do learn, they usually retain much longer than the average person, but it can take them longer to learn things. There's possible speech impediments, delays in communication. The children will usually start talking later. There's simply a starvation in communicating and sharing ideas and receiving ideas from other people. So um, the age of Mercury, which is from the age of three to 12, during which a kid is in grade school, um, is usually a time where they have a harder time, you know, learning is harder for them. They don't usually excel at school. Um, they um, struggle to follow the rules. They don't like following rules usually. They, they don't grasp the rules or the importance of rules. And um, so that can make them a little bit more difficult to raise and they might just want to do things their own way more. Um, so they do have a difficult, more difficult childhood at that point, okay? Um, but it's usually not a, it's not the combination like Saturn, Sun, Saturn, Moon, Saturn, Mars will really hurt the house it's in. The person will have an obvious deficit in the house and sign you see those conjunctions in. In the Saturn Mercury though, you don't get a deficit in the sign because Mercury's helping Saturn. So Saturn helps the house and sign do better. Saturn hurts Mercury. So it, Mercury is making the house and sign do worse. But overall it averages out and they do okay. They do average. So I don't consider this as serious as a conjunction, but it will impact these parts of Mercury. It will make you have a lack of Mercury, a lack of friends that you feel you can talk to and communicate with, um, a, a, lackness in, a lack in your ability to learn, maybe a learning deficit, maybe just slow learning process, um, things like that, um, and a lack of ability to feel understood. So these people, when they try to talk, they, they'll talk and they'll try to explain themselves so well and no matter how well they explain themselves, they'll still really much feel like they're not really completely understood. So there's this lack of this connection that humans develop when they communicate. When people communicate, they create a connection between them. The Saturn Mercury person can't experience that connection the same way. So I've seen lots of times they'll be talking, they're trying to explain themselves and finally they'll say, oh, just forget it. Forget I said anything and they'll just go alone and go be alone because they just don't feel understood or they can, that they can be understood and communicate, make that connection with people that we make with our words, okay? That's probably the most painful thing about that combination. Okay, that's, that's very good. And even I have seen that Saturn, Mercury people, sometimes they try to explain them themselves too much. And yeah. <laughs> sometimes they're, they're like, oh, maybe he has understood, but even if the others have understood, but they themselves feel that, oh, maybe they didn't yes. understand me or something. Yeah. Like that. With Saturn, because a person never feels the connection 
or they never have the confidence. Their tendency is to overcompensate. Okay. You know? okay. Like Saturn Mars tries too hard until they get hurt, you know? <laughs> you know, Saturn Sun can try too hard to be a, a good person. You know, Saturn Moon can try too hard to, you know, deal with their emotions to the point where the way they deal with their emotions becomes pathological, you know? <laughs> And they become emotionally completely um, self-absorbed. And the Saturn Mercury person tries too hard to communicate. You bet. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, have you seen sometimes that these people can have some problems in speaking or like they murmur some words that that can happen? Yeah, I they think. can have speech defects. You bet. I, I think I mentioned that. You bet. They can yes. Have speech yes. And, and sometimes they will like... Uh, they will speak inside their mouth only like we cannot understand what they are speaking oh yeah one person i met recently won't open their mouth or they talk you know <laughs> then also they might just not talk speak start talking until much later in life okay you bet and sometimes i have also seen that because like mercury is that child which keeps flowing naturally sometimes these people are very serious i have seen they tend to have a more mature attitude i mean they always feel to me about 20% older than they really are, you know, or 25% older. So if they're 30, take seven years and they feel like a 37 year old to me, you know, <laughs> I agree with that. now the other thing though, is that generally speaking, you're going to like Mercury Saturn conjunct people though, because Mercury is delighting Saturn and making Saturn a healthier planet. See, it's when Saturn gets starved by the sun, moon or Mars, that people become difficult to be around. When Saturn gets delighted by Mercury or Venus, people become more enjoyable to be around. So you're gonna like Mercury Saturn people because they're 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 we're doing their Saturns better. The, the better we handle our the better we use our Saturn, the nicer people we are and the more healthy it is to be around that person. So it's easier to be around a person with a good Saturn basically. Mercury aspecting Saturn or conjunct Saturn help Saturn um, do a much better job with dealing with problems. They don't repeat the same mistakes. They learn from their mistakes. They progressively grow into better people. So overall, I don't mind a Saturn-Mercury conjunction at all. Um, I would be friends with the Saturn-Mercury conjunction any day, you know, whereas if I see a Saturn-Moon or Saturn-Sun conjunction, I want to look at their charts and make sure there's something there to help them deal with that in a healthy way. Otherwise, these people can be very impossible people to know, okay? Saturn Mercury, though, just off the shot, I'll say, oh, yeah, I'll be that person's friend without even seeing their chart because they're going to be usually be very comfortable and easy to get along with. But, yeah, they won't feel completely understood. and But that hurts them, not me, you know? <laughs> yeah, and sometimes I've seen if this is uh, having happening in a fire sign, then they, they can be too much obsessed uh, about their own beliefs like if these people go into a debate then they're like no no i'm right yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's because saturn generally does really bad in fire signs okay because okay. in aries he gets starved in leo he gets starved too so now we have a starved saturn um with a mercury helping him so that's not as good as the saturn in sagittarius it won't give us much problems though okay okay Nice, amazing. <laughs> All right, so next we will discuss Venus. We will discuss this in the next section. So please stay tuned. Okay. Thank you.